Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and already I can tell that the comments section is going to explode in argument. So, let me just go ahead and put this out there right now before I even get into the story. I don't care how you worship. I do care if your worshiping or your teachings lead to killing people and justifying it in the name of your... any sort of basically religious being. I know there are peaceful people out there who do, of course, follow the cloth, and I do understand there are people out there whose religions are either pacifistic or, you know, somewhat uh, a little bit more... Mm -hmm. Looking at you, Scientologist. <laughs> but this story I want to talk about is, of course, my relationship with religion. Because I've done a couple videos talking about the IRA and, of course, talking about my family and their sort of relationship with it. What I never really mentioned, of course, is why I don't really talk about that much, or if I do, it's in a passing comment, or in a joke, or something along that lines, because a friend of mine actually did ask me, hey, dude, do you believe in God? And my response to him was, yes, but we don't talk about my family. So, here's the thing. My family is a hodgepodge of religions. What I mean by religions, I mean I have one side who's Jewish, one side who's Catholic, one side who's Protestant, Christian, Methodist, Baptist, the whole sphere of Christianity and Judaism, or even the Jewish religion. No Muslim, ironically enough. I have not found any part of my family who are Muslims. Yet. I bet you anything, Grandma's going to probably go digging and she's going to find some. If that happens, then I'm going to say, you know what? As long as you don't try to kill me, I'm cool with you. But here's the thing. My family has a very, very strict rule that came about when I was at age five at one very eventful Christmas. So, we have a rule that states no talking religion at any sort of family gathering. At all. Reason for that is what happened at age five. So, I have two cousins who shall remain unnamed because, dear God, if I mention their names, they're going to hunt me down and beat the hell out of me. When I was at age five, I was enjoying myself. I was having fun. I was just enjoying life as can be because Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was playing and then Frosty Snowman was going to come on right after it. I was ecstatic. I was waiting to open presents. But then I start hearing an argument behind me. That argument then blows into a ruckus. Now, me at age five... I didn't understand what was going on, but now that I'm over, but now that I'm older and I'm looking back on it, yeah, no. I'll tell you what happened. So apparently, my Protestant cousin, who, my God, I love her, but dear God, did she have a temper, was having an argument with my Catholic cousin, who said, and I quote, mind you, because I remember this very vividly, was that the reason the IRA came about was because the Protestants were oppressing the Catholics and they were simply fighting in self-defense. Whew, that's a why that, that's just a big old yarn of fucking hell in and of itself that if anyone tried to divulge into it, and in my opinion on it, I kinda get where they're coming from. Yeah, they kinda did fight in self-defense and then it boiled over into a goddamn civil war that lasted for hundred years, still going, mind you. The Protestant cousin immediately rebuttaled, saying, no, the IRA are a bunch of Catholic terrorists who kill and maim and bomb because they have bastardized the word of God. The Protestant God. Yeah, you see where this is going? This continued onward until finally blows were thrown, they start punching each other, and the Protestant cousin fucking pulled out a knife and tried to stab my Catholic cousin. My family intervened, thank God, and literally had to manhandle each of them till finally, out of all of it, the Jewish cousin, who I actually do know in real, who actually I do visit from time to time, and I love him to death, spoke up and said, what in the name of hell are you two arguing about? Do we need to bring up the fact that both of you assholes literally killed my people? And do we even need to bring up the Holocaust? Which, shut up. Everyone, because once you, because once the Jewish cousin brings up the Holocaust and the fact that the Jewish people were in fact oppressed and killed by the Roman Catholics and that whole shit show, everyone shuts the hell up and calms the fuck down. But the big thing is that the matriarch of my family, my Mima, God rest her soul, 
immediately stated boldly that from then onward, no discussion of religion would be held unless it was the prayer to bless the food from Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's it. No religion is to be discussed in the household. No one's to try and kill each other in the household. Basically, the holidays were neutral ground. Any family, any family gatherings, neutral ground. No religion was to be discussed. And dear God, I didn't understand it at the time. I didn't. But now that I'm older and I have hindsight to look back on, dear God, people! I've said this many times to many religious a person, to many people who have asked me, you know, do I believe in God? I'm saying, yeah, I do, so long as that religion does not try to fucking kill people. Word for word, I will say that to anyone who asks me if I believe in God. Because it's fucking ridiculous! Especially to those of you who, of course, have commented on my IRA videos or me even talking about the IRA. Why in the name of hell, uh, even in the name of the Lord himself, even in Jesus fucking Christ, why are you trying to kill each other? I get it. The, the Middle Ages, everything past then with the religious wars, that was kind of fucked. But this is the 20th goddamn century. It is now 2021. Can we please, for the love that is sanity, not try to kill each other over fucking religion? Can we try to kill each other over actually sane things? Like self-preservation? Self-defense? The protection of one's family? Or better yet, resources! How about we kill each other over something sane? Something plausible? Not fucking religion! <sighs> anyway, that's my relationship with religion. And for those of you who are probably already arguing in the comments section saying, Oh no! The word of God is meant to be peaceful, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. You know what? That's a can of worms I'd love to break into, but I'm not because I don't have... I have my phone. I don't have my computer, and I can't do cutaway gags to actually make it lighthearted and funny. But for those of you out there who are actually sane individuals, such as myself, who do actually believe in God, or, you know, if you're atheist, I don't care. At least have a good day. But for those of you who are actually sane and actually are looking at this from an outsider's point of view, you have to agree, this shit's fucking ridiculous. This is fucking stupid. By God! Just, just, wow. Anyway, that's my relationship with religion. Uh, thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Al, and let's hope people actually... And I'm going to finish that. Let's hope there at least is some sort of sanity to anything in our hectic world of 2021, because we already know that started off to a great start, hasn't it? Uh, Till next time, ladies and gentlemen. And God bless all of you who are actually sane individuals. Till next time.